My name is Jask and I welcome you to my channel. Please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss my uploads. Okay guys, I welcome you guys again to a new video. Yes, so today guys, I'm teaching you guys how to design banner using your big, using your coral draw. So today's tutorial is on coral draw, not pixel art. And please, my name is Jax if you are new to my channel. And onto my channel here, I teach people on how to design professional graphic designing. You can learn graphic designing, editing of photo and editing of video with tech information here on my channel. So all I need you to do is this, if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification sign. Reason for you to subscribe and turn on your notification sign is this. Once you turn on your notification sign, YouTube will always notify you whenever I drop a new video. And since you want to learn graphic design, don't you think that watching tutorial videos like this will definitely help you to step up your game as a graphic designer. So please kindly subscribe and turn on your notification sign so you don't miss amazing uploads like it and without wasting much of your time guys let me quickly take you straight to coral draw and from there we keep it up guys so now this is the coral draw once you open your coral draw this is how it will look like and don't worry each step i'm going to take here i will explain it the way you will understand it and if there is something confusing you don't get in this tutorial please kindly drop your comments on the comment section below on my youtube channel i will definitely answer you Cool. Then once you get to this place, first thing you need to do is to change the size. And to do that, since we are dealing with banner, banner deals with feet. So here you are seeing inches. You change it to feet. You see that? So you make it fit here. So after selecting feet, my customer says that he wants the banner to be portrait. That's to stand. This is portrait while this is landscape. So to make it portrait now, the width should be 3 while the height is 4, which is 3 by 4. So the width is 3, you change here 3, then here you make this place 4. Then after that, just look at what will happen here. After you key in the sizes, you click enter on your keyboard. And once you do that, can you see this shape here has changed? Good. Then after that, now next thing to do is to bring an active shape, the same shape here, into here before you start your design. So to do that, is either you take your mouse here, where there is a rectangular shape, you double click, this comes here so this is active now do you see that or you click here then you use your hand to draw it either of the two is the best way but me the most part i always use is just to double click then automatically it gets here then once the stuff is here guys as you can see there is a black outline color on it and i did not need the outline color so to get rid of it guys you come over to this place that you are seeing black then here this width you make it none do you see that then after that you click your okay sign i'm good with this now cool then after this now i need to bring in another shape so to do that you click on this shape because i'll be using this shape now then from here you draw your shape then after you draw the shape you give it a red color you see that then after this now the same outline color remove it again click here then go to it and make it none you see there is no more black outline on it cool then after this just take it up little bit just move it up little cool then duplicate this stuff you can duplicate holding your control and d control d is for duplicate but if you want to do it like i did it you need to right click on your mouse then you drag it do you understand so that is it for that then this you place this stuff here increase this stuff now look at what i'll be doing i want to bitmap this stuff inside here so to do that you click on this particular shape the one you want to bitmap inside the shape you right click on your mouse then you click on power clip sorry i want to power clip so you click on power clip now you click here can you see this shape has gotten inside then do the same thing on this small one you click right click power clip then inside you see how that it has cut up this part automatically now i want to edit this to make this way to get to the end of this place so to do that make sure your mouse is where the red shape is so you right click on your mouse now you go over to what edit power clip so once you click edit power clip can you see you get the shape back so now from here just move it by the side to make it cover 
then after this can you see it has covered here perfect then after that now let me just quickly put all these images at the rightful place so to do that guys watch you click on this money image you right click power clip you bring it inside here don't worry where the money is that really doesn't matter then after that edit your power clip then click to edit power clip perfect now this bring it this here you see that so once you bring it there reduce this money size so you get a clearer picture that i'm actually dealing with money there do you understand and since this stuff is a pos stuff money must be involved do you get so once this is like this just increase little shift it by the side little bit then this is cool by me i think then you click and do it if you want to finish your editing you must click on that image that you brought in here so when you right click then you click finish editing you see how that looks like this is cool right good then after that now this one i want to bury this picture here because me Jax, i don't like dealing with plain background design once i'm not writing anything on it i must make it i must add a picture to blend it up so to do that do the same thing click on this picture you right click on your mouse then you click on power clip you bring it in here do you see that then you click here you edit your power clip now for me to edit this stuff now i have to reduce it little then make it fit here because this is actually the part i want to cover then stretch this picture to cover the whole thing then after you've stretched this red color now hold shift and page up to make it come to the front of that image then after that now i need to fence this stuff to blend with the white color so to do that you click on this image now come to this tools by the side those tools bar by the side look for transparency too so once you get to this transparency too you click on it something like this pops up here so here is the value of the transparency can you see you fed it to your taste i think this is okay now if you should close it can you see this stuff is here now good then after this now this pos must come under here there is nothing much here graphic designing is all about what arrangement yes it's all about arranging once you know how to arrange and you have that idea of graphic of designing just bringing things together you are good to go i know i still at this point many still never subscribe and then they watch this video i beg support me by subscribing and turning on your notification sign please it is very very important do that now as i'm watching you now do it now cool so let's continue then after this now the name of the guy is what jc so to import text to write text you click on a the same icon that is on pixel lab is here on Corado. so once you click on a you will see a blinking cursor here can you see this blinking cursor so you type in jcpos on your keyboard so you use your keyboard to type do you see that good then after this now guys just place this stuff at the right place you want it to be then you increase this text now another thing that matters in designing is what color combination you must know color that goes with each other do you understand so now this is the font i will be using this is the font i will be using but i think this is not the font so let me look for the font i use good this is the font that i used don't worry everything will be linked on my video description so don't worry about this so this is this now after this now you give it a yellow color i'll be dealing with yellow then after this there is a little trick i did here i just duplicate this stuff hold your control and d i made this pos stuff to be true do you understand then the one that will be on that will be giving it a white color let me locate my white color I will be giving it a white color which is this then this one that will be on top now i will leave it to be yellow because i really want to apply some you know some tricks though so increase this stuff make it big because it says they want it big then this do the same thing but before you do that just click here and copy the same size of this test here you copy then click on this one you paste it here so you have the same size now this is what i want to do i want to make it look as if it has a white shadow under it 
do you understand whereas it is the same test that i changed the color do you see how this looks like now you like it right cool then after this i will just like group it together and make it be at the center of this shape this is cool then after this ungroup it then now double click again you click since i'm using the same color so all i need to do is just like change it so you bring in services here this is pos services then you reduce these services because pos should be bigger than the services do you understand so when you reduce you bring this stuff here yeah so this pos need to be reduced little then take it up here so that these services will you know have enough space to stay now these services should be here good then after this do the same thing duplicate this test again bring this out then this time around i'm using white on both tests so you give it white but this one now that will be on top i need to give it a shadow drop so to do that you come over here and select your shadow drop can you see drop shadow so once you click on drop shadow now something like this will come up do you get so all you need to do is this just now you know how you take one time you draw your shadow are you seeing the shadow but this is not what i wanted i will tell you the way truth but let me see if this will actually work for me okay now this is what i wanted can you see after you draw your shadow now the one that has the shadow will be on top why the one that does not have the shadow will be under now as this stuff is like this now this one that has the shadow will come on top do you get you bring it to the top now do you see how this stuff looks like it is somehow shaped now so just drag it closer but not too close because i want it good do you see how it looks like this is perfect you like it have you good then after that now let's bring in the services that this person is rendering now you still come here because you need this shape you cannot just write it it won't look professional so you need to put it inside a customized shape so to do that you click on this shape then you draw your shape you see that so it's dealing with withdraw you bring in the services that you render withdraw transfer deposit then pay bills so it deals with four you can pay in you can withdraw then you can deposit and you can pay your bills good then after that just give this stuff a red color then remove that outline by coming here and you make this none you see that then after that now bring this stuff here this is what i'm doing just reduce it to this length perfect now you duplicate this you bring it down just give it a little space more this is cool then you duplicate three four perfect then after this now look at what i'll be doing you click on this pos here now now you click shift page up so that this test will go under then the pos will be on top of them do you get this will make massive sense being like this because it will look as if all this things all this information are coming out from this pos so that's why i did it and if you should leave it on top it's not making sense and it won't look okay to the eye do you get then after that now just fix this stuff in here you bring this here you reduce this drag it here now go to your font use the same font then give it a yellow color you increase this just you make it fit well here good then the same thing here click on transfer bring your transfer now i will be selecting the same size so you click here you copy the size of this stuff just to make it big yes just for it to look you know professional it will look like wow the person that did this stuff actually knows what he is what what he is doing then this go to your font give it this then 
place it here this is transfer then you give it a yellow color again you see that then this transfer the size here is 178.127 so here should be 178.127 good then after that make it be on a straight line with this good then after that you bring in your deposit the same thing you do on deposit give it color then this you place it here you give it color you give it color then you change the size to what 178.127 see that then you place this make it be at the center too then this you click on pay views do the same thing bring in these pay views change the font then add your color good now resize it to be on the same size with the rest which is what one seven eight point one two seven then after that this is what you will have guys then after everything now can you see i am done with this design so this is actually how i come about doing this graphic designing for this person now you are not just learning how to design you learned how to resize banner like how to design banner resize it and do everything so please if you found this video helpful i'm begging you like and drop your comment on what you think about this video and i strongly believe that you learned something from today's tutorial thank you and i still remember i still remain your humble jacks thanks and catch you guys on my next video bye